gives free energy change and spontaneity of a chemical reaction. Gibbs free energy change is given by delta G equal to delta H minus T delta S. This can be expressed as the summation of two terms that is delta H and minus T delta S. Okay, now we have the two cases that is exothermic and endothermic. For exothermic reactions, delta H is less than zero. Now we have two cases, delta S greater than zero and delta S less than zero. In the first case where delta S is greater than zero, the, both the terms become negative because delta H is negative and this minus T delta S that will also be negative and hence delta G will be negative. So this is spontaneous at all temperatures. The second case is for exothermic when delta S is less than zero. In this case, the second term becomes positive. So to, to become delta G to be negative, the first term has to be more than the second term. So this will happen when T is less than delta H by delta S. In this case, delta G will become negative and the reaction will become spontaneous. Now we take the case of endothermic reaction where delta H is greater than zero because heat is absorbed in the reaction in the forward direction. So there are two cases when delta S is greater than zero. In this case, the first term is positive and the second term is negative. So the negative term has to be more than the positive term. This will happen when temperature is greater than delta H by delta S. And the second case when delta S is less than zero. In this case, the first term is positive and the second term is also positive. Both the terms being positive, delta G will be positive. So it will be non-spontaneous at all temperatures. So this is how we can determine the spontaneity of a given chemical reaction. Thank you.